<laughs> what? Ty Lu at halftime. I, he, yeah. As Reggie said, he, he wasn't mad. Yeah. No, he wasn't mad. I mean, he just said, um, just keep going. I think we had a little little stint at the end where it kind of went down a little bit. But, I mean, he just said keep going. I mean, we've been in a lot worse situations before. <laughs> we were up three. I mean, we had a couple times this season where we were down 20, 30. So, we were up three. It wasn't really much to panic about. How did how did he deliver that message? Was it a... just keep going? I mean, we were in our own way. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing we've been doing so far. It's just thinking about us, and I think it's been going great so far. Isaiah, uh, after Lakers game on uh, on last Friday night, it, it felt like you and Zoop uh, probably didn't have your best outing. Um, yeah. The response was there in Houston, yeah. but. Just what were the conversations like between the two of you to get ready uh, for this game? Um, I think we talk a lot. I mean, um, we hold each other uh, really accountable. And so I think we both knew that we weren't um, performing how we should. I think um, Houston was uh, good for us. I mean, especially what Zoo did. Um, I mean, I'm just happy to see how he's playing because I know he can do it. And I think um, the last three games, what he's been doing, has been really helping our team out. And um, I just want him to keep going. And I think that's good for us both. I mean, we're competitive, but we also push each other to to where we need to be. Isaiah, uh, Reggie had a big second half for you guys. Yeah. Uh, but he had that moment where the crowd was chanting his name. He and yeah. Russ were kind of going at it. Yeah. Um, and then he drilled that three and kind of just egged everyone on. Yeah. Uh, from your view, I think I think Zoo was on the court that time. So, like, from your view, what, how did you kind of view that play? And uh, just what did you make of Reggie's performance tonight? Uh, I think he was special today. I mean, when he plays like this, when he's um, just in the flow of it, um, having fun, I think anytime Reggie's having fun, I mean, you saw what he can do. And I think um, we have a lot of confidence in him. And um, especially since um, Kawhi and PG all have been out, and uh, even uh, now uh, Norm, Oh, he's been doing a great job just leading, um, and just helping us get wins. Uh, not going too much into too much game plan, I guess. Like, what is it about the lineups that you're in playing against LeBron at the five that's so successful? Um, just a lot of movement, I think. Uh, um, I mean, most of, most of the time, I mean, our second unit doesn't really have like a traditional point guard now anymore. Um, and so now it's just a lot of movement. Um, and T. Lou does a great job putting us in situations where everyone on the floor can thrive. All right, so since the trade deadline, you guys have been one of the top defensive teams yeah. in the league. What has been the biggest reason for that defensive ability? Um, I mean, um, D.C. coming back for uh, our defensive coach has been um, big. Um, and then also getting a... Uh, Covington, he's been big for us, and just everyone's locking in on defense. Um, I think from the first unit to the second, second unit, um, us just coming in, having a defensive mindset, and that's just been winning us games. Hey, I just want to know, how much fun are you guys having on the court together as a team? Because you guys have been through so much, yeah. whether it's a 35-point comeback, like 20-point, whatever. How much fun are you guys having, especially now that you're winning – these last seven out of eight games? Uh, it's been great. I mean, I've been in uh, now a couple teams, and it's been, like, one of the only teams where from top to bottom, everyone wants any everyone to succeed. And I think that's that's been a special with this team. I think that's why, even though we're down so many players, that we're just together still. And I think that's been the biggest thing for us winning games, even um, without PG and Kawhi, just because we want everyone to succeed and we push each other. Hey, Isaiah, uh, there was kind of a, I guess, a moment in the game where, like, Ty kind of got on to you, yeah. I, I guess, on the offensive end. And yeah. I was kind of wondering, what was the conversation? What, Why was he on you? Uh, just uh, sometimes um, just me not being aggressive enough. I think um, using – when I had uh, mismatches on me with smaller guys, I was trying to let um, Reg and all the other guys kind of do their thing and just being more aggressive. And I think that's – uh, that's helped me a lot through the whole season. Um, I think this is the first first kind of coach who really pushes me to be more aggressive. And so 
it's been he's been great so far, and um, he's been it's, it's been a blessing just to play under him. Yeah. What does that mean to you, like personally? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, I think it means the world. I mean, just having him uh, push me and try to make me play more aggressive. Um, it's just been a blessing. I mean, I think he's been the best coach I've ever probably played so uh, on so far. I mean, his adjustments in game. Um, I've, I haven't seen a coach ever really do that. Um, just how he adjusts, how he really on the fly, just what he thinks is best and what and how much it works. It's been crazy to see. Thank you.